Our two-week trip to Montana was highlighted by riding across the Going to the Sun Road in Glacier National Park. Going to the Sun Road is a scenic mountain road and is the only road that traverses Glacier National Park, crossing the Continental Divide through Logan Pass at an elevation of 6,646 feet, which is the highest point on the road. The road is named after Going to the Sun Mountain, which dominates the eastbound view beyond Logan Pass. One Native American legend concerns the deity Sour Spirit, who came down from the sun to teach the Blackfeet Indians the basics of hunting. While returning to the sun, an image of Sour Spirit was placed on the mountain as an inspiration for the Blackfeet. The Going to the Sun Road is only two lanes, quite narrow and winding, with hairpin turns, especially west of Logan Pass. Because of that, vehicle lengths over the highest portions of the road are limited to no longer than 21 feet and no wider than 8 feet between the Avalanche Creek and Rising Sun picnic areas. Vehicles over 10 feet in height may not have sufficient clearance due to rock overhangs when driving west between Ro Logan Pass and the hairpin turn called the Loop. While interesting, none of that made any impact on us since we were both on motorcycles. The speed limits on going to the Sun Road are 45 miles per hour in the lower elevations and 25 miles per hour in the steeper and winding alpine sections. As we continued along going to the Sun Road, we passed through the East Tunnel. This 408-foot tunnel was one of the more challenging parts of going to the Sun Road to build. The tunnel was constructed entirely by hand, without power tools, and workers carried all the debris down the mountain by hand. The Logan Pass Visitor Center sits atop the Continental Divide, 6,646 feet. The Visitor Center houses various exhibits of plants and animals found in the subalpine region of the park. From the Visitor Center, you can hike two of the park's most popular trails, the Highline Trail or Hidden Lake Trail. We chose to go on the Highline Trail. The Highline Trail is a challenging 12-mile one-way hike starting at Logan Pass and ending at the Loop. The scenic hike follows a path high above going to the Sun Road, eventually straddling the Continental Divide and passing Granite Park Chalet. With meadows, mountains, and incredible views, the Highline Trail is a must-do adventure. We didn't have time to hike the entire trail, but still managed to see some spectacular views along the trail. We got back on the motorcycles and continued along the road heading to Lake McDonald Lodge. Built in 1913, Lake McDonald Lodge is a Swiss chalet-style lodge. The lodge is older than the Going to the Sun Road and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. As we neared the lodge, we ran into road construction, as the entire road was stripped away, leaving a dirt and rock base for about two miles before we got to Lake McDonald Lodge. The hotel features an enormous lobby centered on a large stone fireplace. The lobby is three stories tall, decorated with skins and taxidermy. There are balconies on the second floor to either side, and on the second and third floors at the rear of the lobby. After admiring the hall, we headed out back to take in the views of Lake McDonald from the dock. Once we finished touring Lake McDonald Lodge, we headed back 
this time riding from west to east. While either direction provides fantastic views, driving the road from west to east put us on the outer edge of the road through the portions that are carved into the side of the mountains, making the views even more spectacular and with easier access to the scenic overlooks. The park has a fleet of 33 red buses that is widely considered to be the oldest touring fleet of vehicles anywhere in the world. The red buses serve as an ideal way to see Glacier National Park. The rollback tops provide full views of the stunning mountains and scenic landscapes. This trip brought back so many memories it was almost overwhelming. Montana and Great Falls specifically was my first home after graduating from college. We lived there from 1980 through 1983 and our return was almost exactly 40 years since we left Montana. Being able to relive the splendor of Glacier National Park was an extremely emotional experience. We're already thinking about our return knowing it will not be another 40 years before we come back.